On February 3, 2022, SpaceX launched 49 new Starlink satellites from Kennedy Space Center in Florida into the lower orbit. As of today, only nine of those satellites are still functioning, the rest have been destroyed by a solar storm. The launch of these new satellites didn't go as planned and has cost the company about $100 million. This comes as a huge blow for SpaceX. The destroyed satellites re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, burning up on the way. The company confirmed that due to this, there won't be any orbital debris of any kind. The geomagnetic storm increased the temperature and density of the atmosphere, and because of this, the drag on the satellites was higher than ever before. The aerospace company also tried to save the satellites by flying the MEDGE on but to no avail. The satellites were released to their appropriate orbit, some 130 miles above Earth, after the launch, according to the corporation. Part of the reason for choosing this altitude was to avoid future collisions with other satellites. The atmosphere kind of reclaims the failing technology pretty quickly if the satellites break down after being deployed at that altitude and are unable to increase their orbits to more secure heights. And that's a pretty good precaution. These geomagnetic storms are triggered by powerful solar winds that change the currents, plasmas and the magnetosphere of the planet. They might last a few minutes or hours and are caused by the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots. On February 1st and 2, the solar storm that deorbited the satellites occurred and its intense effects were noticed on February 3rd. The storm added kinetic energy to the Earth's atmosphere which resulted in the expansion of the atmosphere which made the launch of the new satellites 50% more difficult than the previous launches. Scientists all around the world have been dumbfounded on that fact that SpaceX didn't take this matter into consideration and postpone the launch. SpaceX has around 2,000 of these satellites already orbiting around Earth. These satellites are responsible for providing the Internet to the entire planet. We hope that this small obstruction won't dent SpaceX's initial plan of putting 12,000 of these Starlink satellites in space. A chunk of a SpaceX rocket that blasted off seven years ago and was abandoned in space after completing its mission will crash into the dark side of the moon in March, experts say. The Falcon 9 booster was launched in 2015, but after completing its mission, it did not have enough fuel to return towards Earth and instead remained in space. Astronomer Jonathan McDowell says it will be the first known uncontrolled rocket collision with the moon, but the effects will be minor. Since 2015 the rocket has been pulled by different gravitational forces of the Earth, Moon and Sun, making its path somewhat chaotic, explains Professor McDowell from the US-based Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Professor McDowell says it's been dead, just following the laws of gravity. It's joined millions of other pieces of space junk, machinery discarded in space, after completing missions without enough energy to return to Earth. Over the decades there have been maybe 50 large objects that we've totally lost track of. This may have happened a bunch of times before, we just didn't notice. This would be the first confirmed case, astronomer Bill Gray who has been observing the rocket's orbit, and a week after the rocket stage whizzed close to the moon, Gray observed it again and concluded it would crash into the moon's dark side on March 4 at more than 5,500 miles per hour that's 9,000 kilometers per hour. Gray appealed to the amateur astronomer community to join him in observing the booster, and his conclusion was confirmed. The exact time and spot of impact may change slightly from his forecast, but there is widespread agreement that there will be a collision on the moon that day. As for whether the collision could be viewed from Earth, Gray says it will probably go unobserved. Nevertheless, space enthusiasts believe the impact could provide valuable data. It is believed that the event will allow for observation of subsurface material ejected by the rocket strike, while Gray says he is rooting for a lunar impact. So what happens between now and the 4th of March? Well the rocket will continue to follow the laws of gravity, careening through space, before it ends its days smashing into the moon, 